Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to solve some problems related to universal and existential quantifiers. So let us solve this problem now. Determine the truth value of each of the statements if the domain consists of all real numbers. So in this problem, the domain is R, which is called the domain of discourse. And we have to solve the A part is there exists X belonging to R such that X square is equal to two. So can we find at least one X? Can we find a real number X, which is a real number such that its square is equal to two? So if I solve this equation x square is equal to 2 in my rough work, then I will get that x is equal to plus minus square root 2. Okay, so we actually have two x. One is x is equal to root 2 and one is x equal to minus root 2. So, so this means that we can find not only one x, but we, we are able to find two values of x for which x square is equal to what? x square is equal to 2. So the answer to the question is can you find at least one Yes, I could find at least one. Actually, I could find two, but at least one is found. So this means that uh, this particular statement is actually what? True, because yes, x equal to root two satisfies this property. And therefore, this quantification, and therefore, this quantification is true okay let us go for the second one now the second one is saying that there exists a x such that x square is equal to minus one now there is exists a x means what there exists a x in which set there exists a x in the set of real numbers because the domain is what the domain is real numbers so there exists a x in real numbers such that x square is equal to minus one. Now, if I go in my rough work, then I will see that how will I solve this equation x square equal to minus one. I will say x is equal to square root of minus one with the plus minus sign. And therefore this will become x equal to plus minus i. So i is a number whose, uh, which satisfies the property watch, which satisfies the property that its square is minus one. So does this mean that we have found the solution of this? Actually, uh, we want which numbers? We want all real numbers, but i is actually what? i is a complex number. So this will not be good. So we wanted a real number which satisfies this property that its square should be minus one, but we got a complex number. Means we could not find a real number, right? So this equation, x square equal to minus one has complex has complex roots one i and minus i it has no real roots it has no real roots and therefore this quantification what is this quantification the quantification is there exists x belonging to real numbers such that x square equal to minus and this quantification is actually what it is actually false quantification okay i'm removing this rough work okay so this is the way this problem now i will continue the c and d part also so this is first a and set b and what is the domain remember the domain is set of all real numbers now c part is for all x belonging to real numbers x square is not equal to minus x okay so now see here the quantification is changed now this is which type of quantification this is universal quantification okay so now what question should i ask is it true is it true this this line is asking us what this line is asking is it true that 
x square equal to minus 1 x square equal to x x square is not equal to x is true this holds for all real numbers for all real numbers so if i take a number if i take any real number and i take its square okay do they have to be always different are they always different numbers so you you just observe that uh, zero square is actually zero and even one square is one so except zero and one otherwise this property is correct right if you take four that four square is not equal to four right so otherwise except zero and one you will not get this uh, x square and x same right because the reason is very simple because x square is equal to x this means that x square minus x is equal to zero and this means x into x minus one is equal to zero and therefore what is the value of x the value of x must be either zero or the value of x must be how much or the value of x has to be equal to one this is the reason i got zero and one okay but otherwise x square is really not equal to minus x but the quantification is asking that is it true for all x this property is not true right this property the x square is not equal to uh, equal to x is true for uh, all real numbers except zero and one it is not true for all real numbers right so this means that this is false since zero square is equal to zero and one square is equal to one okay the above property the above property x square equal to x square not equal to minus x square not equal to x fails uh, holds fails to hold for all real numbers right the question is saying is it true for everybody the answer to that question is no it is not true for everybody right so this means that this quantification is what quantification is false the deep part for all x belonging to real numbers x square plus 2 is greater than or equal to 1 now you take any real number in your mind okay and you add 2 to that square and take the square of that number and add t or add 2 so suppose i take the real number in my mind is suppose 3 then i will square that number that is 9 and i will add 1 this is 10 is it greater than 1 yes suppose i take the number in my mind is minus 2 what will happen then minus 2 square plus 1 will be 4 plus 1 will be greater than or equal to how much we have to add 2 sorry plus 2 which is 6 which is obviously greater than or equal to 1 so you take any real number square the real number so why i am taking any because it is saying for all is this property true for all real numbers that we want to check so if i take any real number and if i square and if i add 2 then i will always get it what i will always get it greater than 1 okay well, now why this is true this so we will just justify this that why this is true now all of us know okay we know that if you take a number and its square the number and its square is always greater than or equal to 0 it can be zero also for x equal to 0 it is zero and if x is if x is some positive number or some negative number then its square will be 100% positive right if you take minus 1 square it is positive if you take 3 square it is positive if you take zero square then it is zero so this means that if you have any real number and its square that square will be always greater than or equal to zero now i will add 2 to both sides If I add two to both sides, what will I get? I will get x square plus two is greater than or equal to zero plus two. So this means that x square plus two is certainly greater than or equal to two. But I know that two 
is greater than or equal to what? 2 is always greater than or equal to 1. And therefore, my conclusion is that x square plus 2 is always greater than or equal to what? It is always greater than or equal to 1. And therefore, we have proved this, right? And therefore, this means that this property will be true for all real numbers. And therefore, the quantification is true for all real numbers.